using the Linux for a quite while, approximately more than two years. And over this time, I used a few text editors like Nano and Vim. I am currently using Vim and probably my favorite. And before that, I used Nano. And everyone knows how Nano looks. Pretty much basics, nothing special about it. So recently, I found about a new text editor called Micro. Yeah, this one, and started to regret why I haven't used this instead of using Nano in the past. Why I am saying this is because. I have few reasons, valid reasons especially. As you can see, it supports first of all syntax highlighting. This is my script, uh, a bash script uh, which opens the bookmark in the browser. So, micro, so micro is a terminal based uh, text editor which is modern and intuitive. As you can see in this screenshot, some, yeah. It supports, as you can see, is highly customizable syntax highlighting and syntax highlighting, and it is much easier to use as compared to yeah one nano. Why? Its its key bindings are similar what we see in Notepad and Windows. Like uh, Control S, save, Control K, copy, Control V, paste, and Control S, save again. It is, but it have much more to offer than just basic Control S, V, C, and K functionalities. Yeah, let's open. Yeah. Let's open the another file. Here you have Control O open the file and now enter into my RC file and this open here. As you can see, it suppose syntax highlighting. It have many features, especially of basic commands. Let me show you like yeah, Control E. Control E lets you takes you in a command mode where you can enter the command like term. Now you're in terminal. Yeah. Look. Does nano offers this? Probably not. And close. Well let's open the another file. Vertical split, yes, it supports vertical splits. Okay. I am messing around. Yeah, it supports, you can say, vertical split. It supports horizontal split as well. Like this. Edge split command lets you split the buffer into horizontal speech. If you don't want to save, control Q. It could ask you, want to save or not? No. Control Q, yes. It has more functionalities. The key bindings, as you can probably know what I key bindings are like control O opens this and control S saves the file. Control Q quits it. Let me open it again. Control Q quits it. And control open dot. Let's open this 
ko yung config file yeah. now we have played test this much for the config yeah you can, you can the configuration file for the micro is nothing but an json's file this two this two json's file well micro handles sticky bindings and configuration separate in the separate in json files one is setting json setting dot json another is bindings dot json okay yeah one one other feature forgot to mention it has plugin system yes As you can see, these are some plugins uh, supported by the micro, and some of uh, some of them are installed, pre-installed when you install the micro. So you might be thinking if uh, if it compared to Nano, it not showing the key bindings here. Now, so what if you don't know key bindings? Well, you can do is alt key that brings the basic key bindings if you need uh, to have a look on it a control c to back and need more help then do control help. g it's open a help menu for micro control q suppose like uh, So highlighting the search result and end up. Now control N will do that it takes you to the next instance of this search result like this. And control P does in reverse backward. If you wanna install a plugin, then do the control Q E to enter a, a command mode and plugin. total lines, words and characters in the file. Yeah, one more. Control B lets you type the com system commands in a system. Yeah, in the system is I mean command where you normally type the micro commands like uh, ls as you can use the output and when enter it's back to you i really like the feature that it has built in plugin manager as i shown you before but let's install search something okay for tab completions install data let's do it okay it might be updating in the background till then okay okay yeah it updated the quota plugin and all color yeah comes with no color scheme but I haven't I haven't set it yet no. 
I don't like it much. first result and confirms if you want to replace it or not. I want to Naga yes, yes and yes and save it. But for now let's go back it again. Back to normal. So what features remain compared to narrow it has splits test like plugin system basic that normal key bindings user user have like control s q k and c v another feature is s tabs yeah here is a another tab let's go to tab switch much easier much intuitive and modern with plugin system splits terminal built in terminal etc let me know in the comment let me know in the comment section if you like like the video or not I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel also don't be lazy for it just a one click away do it 